Hi guys, Quick Curls Fashion here, and yes, so you can see from the title of this video how absolutely stupid I am. I, I, got, I can't even believe that I did it. I was trying to do some coding and um, looking onto my GoDaddy website, which is where my hosting website is and domain and things are like that, and I read into this kind of managed WordPress thing that I have on my blog and it kind of manages all my updates and everything like that and I read that I didn't need it so I thought well I've got a renewal coming up soon so I don't need something like that if, I, if I'm, I'm not, not going to renew something that I don't need and it was like £70 so I thought well that's a lot of money really for something that I don't actually need so I stupidly cancelled and deleted the WordPress starter blogger manager kind of thing so I try logging into my WordPress um, email and admin kind of thing where I do all my blogging and stuff and do all my new posts and things like that and it wouldn't let me. I was like, well, hold on a minute, why is it not letting me? I was just on it. And I go on, type in my www.quickercursefashion.co.uk and my whole blog has been deleted. Oh my god the shock and fear that just came over me of like two years of my life I've dedicated to this blog and countless money and oh my god I literally just sat there and was like I actually can't believe that I've just done this so straight on the phone to GoDaddy I was like help me because I've just deleted something that I probably actually do need and they told me that I had to pay money up front and to get my blog back because otherwise if I had to have block, had it backed up, then I wouldn't have to pay the money. However, I did back my um, blog up, but I had deleted my whole backup sys operating system as well because it was all linked in with this blogger kind of starter WordPress thing. So I was absolutely mortified. I actually nearly broke down in tears on the phone to this guy because obviously you've dedicated all this time to your blog and everything, and then all of a sudden it just disappears. Everything like pictures and things that I've deleted off my computer and obviously because of memories and stuff I've deleted as well which are only on my fashion blog so it was kind of like oh my god why have I done this because now I don't have anything so um, I literally was so upset I was so vile to my family that day as well because obviously I was so upset and annoyed at myself and if I just left things alone I wouldn't have been deleted um, but this guy was really helpful and he said that I can do, I had to pay up front for the cost of the um, recovery system to get all my blog stuff back and to get all of my um, um, blog back up I had to pay that £50 and then to get the manager back thing back up and all of the backup system I had to pay another £50 so I said to me if I could pay the £50 up front for the recovery system because obviously I want my blog back first and then I will do like a pay payment plan for this manager WordPress and kind of thing that I need for my blog and he said yeah that's fine so everybody at GoDaddy was lovely and they were really really helpful so I finally got my blog back up and running again so everything's back to normal but oh my god I do such stupid things I should just leave things alone because obviously I don't know what I'm doing I have no idea about domains and hosting and things like that, I have no idea, like I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So I got everybody at GoDaddy to help me and do my for me so I don't have a clue what to do. So I need to do some reading up and researching about that and get to grips with it because otherwise I'm going to end up deleting my blog again and have to pay stupid amounts of money which is ridiculous. So yeah I just wanted to do a little video and tell you guys what a stressful week I've had because of that. Oh god, it took 48 hours to get my blog back as well, so I haven't been able to do anything on my blog. Um, and I like to go on my blog every day and just start doing like comments and things like that, but I actually couldn't get on, so I had to wait until today has been the first day that I can actually go on and do all my comments and things like that and look at my views and things. So, oh, stress over. That is like one of the worst things that's happened to me for a, a bit now, and it's like. All that work and effort was for nothing, but it's all back, so happy face again, smiling again. Um, and yeah, I just wanted this video to be a little update as well about things that's going on. Can't believe January is almost over. Um, so I've got lots of things planned. I'm doing 
I, uh, I've just gone in the process of doing a haul video because I haven't done one of those in a while in January. Savings haul video, <laughs> which has not gone too well. Well, it has. Saving for me has done really well, but I've also bought quite a bit of stuff, but I haven't really noticed my money going down, so I don't know where it's coming from. Um, I'm doing an active wear video as well because I've all my new look stuff has come finally and I wanted to like try and get a bit of um, coverage from them really so I can and well new look is the only place I can buy active stuff because I've been so small and tiny and um, I can't buy anywhere else so yeah I've gone through with the my new year's resolution about the gym I we started about two three weeks ago now with the gym and I started seeing like really good progress, my V-lines are really good, my, my legs are starting to get a bit thicker, my arms are getting a bit thicker as well, which is really, really good, and I'm starting to see like a little bit of weight gain as well, which is great. Not a lot, but it's starting to get there. God, I'm aching so much though, I've not used muscles like this for forever. God, I, I come away from the gym and I'm aching, and then the day after the gym, I'm just like, oh my God, I can't walk or I can't move, and so it's really good. As you can see, dyed the hair brown, a little bit light than I wanted. I wanted to go just a little bit darker so next time if it does fade out really quickly I will go like chocolate brown because I think this hair colour kind of suits me and I, I actually really really like it. I didn't think I would but it was a change for me and I followed through with it and yeah and with other, my other New Year's resolutions having fun yeah I'm doing that and um, next week I'm booking a holiday with Ellen my friend from work um, into Santorini in Greece, which is amazing because Greece is somewhere I've always wanted to go and we're really, really excited. And we've got loads of little things planned as well, like with me and her are going out for Valentine's Day because we're both single and um, anti-Valentine, so <laughs> we're gonna go um, have a nice Valentine's together. And we're going, like planning to go to Harry Potter studios and things, go to London for the weekend and go to all these amazing things. We just want to start going out and doing a lot more stuff together. And we're trying, I'm trying to sort things out with my friend Karen as well who used to work with us. So it's nice to have things like organised and Kelly as well, my, my best friend from like school. We've been friends for like so many years and we're hoping to go on holiday together as well. All this as well, trying to save for moving out, which is um, going ahead really well. So hopefully, I won't probably be moved out for my 25th birthday, which I wanted, but small steps, it's all I need to do. And I need to stop pressurising myself to get things done and done like that, because it's not going to get done like that at all. But I've started to get like really noticed with my fashion blog and stuff. Um, I've been... Somebody on Instagram has done some drawings about me and I'll post that. I'm going to do a blog post about that soon. Um, one of my friends said that she works with MTV and she's going to get me some kind of coverage with that. Um, so yeah, things are really like looking up at the moment, which is really good. And it's all mainly focused on my blog and things like that. So that's what I want at the moment. I just want to focus all my attention and soul into my blog because I want to go. How can I help you? I didn't even click that. Strange. Um, anyway, I have a ghost in here because I didn't even touch that. Um, so, yeah, I want all my attention and things because I want to kind of elevate my blogging and things. I want to get my pictures better. I want to start doing better videos and um, more blogging, more YouTubing, and more like expanding my empire. Um, the Quirky Curls Fashion Empire. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited. This year has started to turn out really, really well. And I'm fully like happy again, which is great. Even though what's happened has happened. And I've let go, which is really, really good. And I'm so happy. Because nobody needs emotional baggage like that. Not at all. Yes, so. I can't wait, I'm really excited. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say really. Nothing, not much else. Just that I'm an idiot and I, regardless of this hair colour, I'm still a blonde at heart. <laughs> like, I can't believe it. But anyway, it's all back and everything's good. So just, just hope I don't delete my YouTube account now. Cause that would be, oh God, don't even, I don't even want to think about it. It's just, I can't. But anyway, so yes. Um, 
yeah, so thanks for your, all you guys for helping me out as well. Thanks for being there for me and everything. I know quite a few of you messaged me through my hard times and stuff, and it's been lovely to know you guys have been a kind of a contact outside of the the real world and on the internet friends and stuff like that, which is really lovely and it's been lovely. It really has been great and I can't thank you guys enough for your support and your following and I just hope you continue to follow me and carry on with my journey. So yeah, I can't wait for what's going to happen. So yeah, thanks a lot guys and I will see you on the flip side. Bye!